What is up? Welcome to Every Single Guitars, where the goal of this channel is to review every single guitar ever made. Today I have a interesting guitar. This is actually a guitar that I've never seen in my life. Never heard of the brand. I honestly could not find much information about this guitar. I've went on Google, tried to do the research on the guitar forms. I just could not find much information about this guitar. So I was wondering if the viewers might help me identify what this model is. So today, I have a Cortez guitar, a Cortez acoustic guitar from what I believe is from the 1960s. And the reason why I'm saying 1960s is because that's what the last owner told me about this guitar. He said that this guitar was in his family for decades. To his knowledge, he always assumed that this was from the 1960s from Japan. When I saw this guitar in person to go check it out, like I said, I didn't know anything about the brand. I didn't know what the model was. So when that happens, I usually just inspect the guitar for what a guitar is. Structurally, the guitar is very good, it's very solid. No headstock crack, no separation of the binding, no missing parts or you know cracks or repairs that I can see. So just from a build quality standpoint, the guitar is very good. So after going home, since I had the guitar with me in person, I still tried to do further research on the guitar, but I couldn't find anything about it. Like I said, the last owner said this was a Japanese guitar made in Japan, and I believe Cortez is is a Japanese guitar. I'm not sure, but that's kind of interesting because Cortex is a Spanish or Mexican sounding brand, you know, and if it's a Japanese company, I was wondering why they would use a Spanish word. One thing that kind of made me curious was even though he said it was a Japanese guitar, the words and the letters and the paper on the sound hole is actually Chinese. I'm personally not Chinese, so I can't read this, but I did take a photo of it and sent it to my friends who were Chinese and they told me that they couldn't translate the entire thing because their Chinese was not good but indeed it was Chinese characters so you know that just made me question a lot of things you know the guy told me it was made in Japan but it has a Spanish sounding brand name Cortez but it also has a Chinese characters in the sound hole so I honestly don't know what this guitar is or I know what the brand is but I don't know the specific model or when it was made or the origins or any history related to this guitar so that kind of just frustrated me other than the background and the history of this guitar just from a visual perspective just from how it looks this kind of reminds me of a blend of a d41 a martin d41 and a d28 and the reason why i'm saying it's a blend of those two from what i feel is the d41s or the d40 series they usually have the abalone inlays um, on the binding that goes throughout this entire guitar and that is the case for this as well but a martin d41 also has the elaborate inlay design the triangle or the hexagon inlay design but this just has a standard dot inlays just like a d28 so that was one of the reasons why i thought it kind of gave off that vibe a mix of a d41 and a d28 you know just from looking at the wood this does look like a laminate guitar and i feel like a lot of the import asian guitars of that era you know the 60s 70s and 80s they did do a lot of laminate style guitars but even though it's a laminate they pulled it off very well this actually looks like real wood you know if you're not an experienced guitar player or a person who's been exposed to a lot of acoustics dude you may confuse this as a solid wood body guitar you know sometimes if i look at it at certain angles it does look like solid wood but when you come up close and try to look very closely to the wood grains it kind of gives me that laminate vibe so i'm assuming that this is a laminate guitar but like i said i couldn't find much information so who knows to be honest the build construction on this guitar is 
very good. Even though this guitar is old, over 30, 40, 50 years old, there's nothing that I could say that gives me an uneasy feeling of this guitar in terms of the build. The neck is solid. The body is very firm and good quality. There's no weak parts of the body that I can feel. Sometimes for cheaper acoustics, you know, if you squeeze and touch firmly, somewhat firmly on the top of the wood, there's certain parts that are uneven and that gives you a flimsy and weak feeling. But for this, this is fucking solid. This is just very well built. The neck profile is a, it's a little bit fat. It's like a shorter and fat type of neck. I'd say the closest thing um, that I can compare this to in terms of the neck is my 80s Yamaha FG345II that I reviewed. That has a similar neck profile to this. Um, it's not a wide neck. It's not a completely fat neck, but I'd say it's like a short nut, but a little bit fat. It's a very interesting style of neck. And I feel like a lot of the Asian import lawsuit type acoustic guitars that I've played had a similar neck profile to this. So I don't know why they all based it off that neck profile, but that's the type of feeling that I get. I'd say that the weakest part of this guitar and the cheapest part of this guitar by far are the tuners. These are just terrible tuners, um, very low quality. And that's the theme for a lot of Asian import guitars. A lot of the time, the Asian import guitars, the overall construction, the bass is very good. So the body, the neck quality, the fretboard quality is very good. But when it comes to the hardware, typically the metal parts, they don't ball out on those parts. They use very cheap material. And for this, this is just, these are very bad tuners. Um, immediately when I felt it, I could just tell it's very bad. Just by turning these knobs, it, it doesn't really give me a firm feeling or anything. So if I were to keep this guitar for a long time, the first thing that I would change immediately would be the tuners because by far, these are just clearly the weakest part of the guitar. But other than that, I'd say that this is a pretty solid guitar. It's a pretty solid dreadnought guitar. Unfortunately, this guitar is not set up right now. Uh, I completely took off the strings and put on new gauge strings, but since the gauges are different, action's kind of high, and I just didn't have the time to set it up yet. So a tone review, a pure tone test, I'll probably have to do it you know, in the future. But just by reviewing the build quality, the structural quality um, of this guitar, I'd say that this is an excellent guitar. Even though it's old, gives me a very solid feeling. And like I said, I don't know anything about this guitar if someone knows what this is this cortez i might even post a photo of the picture in the sound hole you know i'd be more than glad to you know get the information so we can figure out what this guitar is because i'm actually very curious if i had to give this a rating build this is probably 7.5 easily and the only reason why i would grade it lower is because these tuners are just terrible these are just very cheap tuners tone i, I can't do a tone review because this guitar is not tuned or set up or even playable right now 1960s i think cortez dreadnought acoustic Pretty cool guitar.